I had to stop what I was doing here and I had to record this. This is uh, something I got in my shop. This is a custom built computer. As you can see here, several drives, a GTX 1660 tie, decent. It's an AMD board, AMD chip. I don't know what kind yet, I haven't looked. But I had to stop and start recording because um, there's a couple of things. <laughs> So the computer was brought in to me and they were saying that uh, they found out that this cooler was leaking and they claimed it was leaking from the hose and dripping down on the video card. It looks like they've since moved the video card down to the second slot, whatever. Uh, they said what it's doing now, before they even realized it was leaking the computer, was would run good for a little while and then start slowing down and then would just blue screen so they kept messing with it and I guess they decided to quit messing with it and bring it to me so this is where I am with it uh, and obviously with the issues that they were saying that they were having I'm not about to plug this in and power this on especially with a leaking water cooled loop and all that which by the way that's why I'm not a big fan of these closed loops I'll get into that in a minute but I have, I have uh, started working on this. I've actually removed the cooler here, as you can see. And look at the, the processor there. There's hardly has any coverage of, of, of thermal material. And I guess maybe it does or did because, you know, it's stuck to the, to the uh, bottom of the uh, heat sink there. So anyways, very interesting to note there. I don't know if that means anything, but it, I usually get a good covering of, of the thermal grease all over the processor. Uh, maybe it was getting so dang hot that it was actually baking onto the, the, the heat sink itself. But so I went ahead and I took the screws out. This is a single rad, you know, closed loop. I went ahead and took the screws out to remove the rad. And what did I discover? Oh. So, <laughs> so I'm kind of wondering if this rad was getting any airflow. You think it was? I don't think it was at all. Totally disgusting. So what I'm investigating here and the symptoms that they were telling me that they were having was, of course, the computer would slow down and then crash. It almost sounds like what you might do if the processor was overheating. So first of all, if it was leaking, the question is, is, there may not even be any water in that rad anymore. I don't know how bad it was leaking. You know how people or computer owners will lie about their system when they bring it to you. I've experienced that many times. And I've taken this, uh, you know, rad off and I'm, my gosh, unbelievable. But you know what else is kind of a, kind of, kind of really professional about this build is how they, they they're holding down their m.2 card here i mean so i guess they didn't have a screw to hold the card down so you know why not scotch tape why not you know just use some scotch tape to to hold the the m.2 drive in there nice right i don't know what else i'm going to find here i'm going to take this out take this outside uh, may go put on some gloves first, yeah, and shake it just to see if there's any water in it. Let, let's let's find that out now, huh? Okay, so so here we are. Uh, I got gloves now, and a um, little bit of a better look at this. It's it's uh, pretty ganky, very ganky actually. Um, you shake it. I can hear a little bit of water in there, but you know what's disturbing is uh yep there it is right there leaking you can see it right there and it actually looks like let's see if you can see this better it's leaking right there you can see the water and i'm trying to figure out um it looks like it's leaking from around the edge of the block it's all around there but 
This is why you can't trust these quote closed loop coolers. So this is obviously no good. Look at it. It's already leaked onto the bench here. Ugh. So we're not even going to bother with that anymore. Let's figure out what's going on with the rest of the computer. To add insult to injury, we're also leaking out of the radiator. This has been sitting here for a while. It's leaking water out of the radiator itself. Not good. Not a fan of closed loop water coolers. I do not recommend them. If these closed loop water coolers come with a reservoir that you can see and fill, and you can see the air, the uh, water flowing through the system, I would feel much better about it. But these type of things, I'm just not a fan of. And they cause, you know, could cause more damage than, than, than anything else. You know, they're just not needed. Air coolers are comparable to that. Today's air coolers are definitely comparable to a, a loop system like this. So anyway, that's my thoughts. See, let's go ahead and clean off this processor so we can see what kind of processor we have so we can see about getting another cooler. And I am going to suggest, much to the popularity of water cooler these days, I'm going to suggest and recommend Look at that, it's not even coming off. It is so caked and baked on there. I'm gonna recommend a water cooler, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna recommend an air cooler, a really good air cooler. Now, it's gonna take up a little bit more space than a water cooler, and it might not look as good as a, a water cooler, but it won't look bad. See, I mean, that has just been caked on there, baked baked this has been overheating i am willing to bet i mean given a look at the at the uh, radiator and the fact that it was probably running bone dry on liquid on whatever liquid they use in there but let me tell you it's why i don't recommend water coolers especially closed loop ones you do not have a visual on how much water is in that cooler. And even though they say that they use industrial type hoses, whatever, that prevent or, you know, try to prevent evaporation, evaporation will happen over time, period. And, you know, leaks. I mean, not only, you know, can you not tell how much fluid is running through your closed loop water system. You know, if you could tell that the you're losing liquid by some sort of reservoir or something like that, or a visual, it also will give you a sign that you could be leaking and you could possibly catch it in time before it starts dripping down on your nice 1660 tie or whatever other expensive video card you may have in there. So, uh, and air coolers today are quite comparable to water cool. People love the water cool because they can say that they, they're using water cool. And the RGBs that come on those are pretty nifty. The RGBs are in right now. Uh, but um, it's not a necessity. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't recommend using closed loop water systems. Just my personal opinion. I get these in my shop. This is like, I, you know, I've had a handful of them come through now leak with uh, water coolers that have leaked and caused damage. So you got to think about that when you're building your computer. Now, can you see that? This has, oh, basically, this is not an AMD board, my bad. I wasn't even looking. This is a Z97. <laughs> that tells me right there that it's not an AMD uh, machine here. Let's see if I can read that a little better. A 4690K is what we have here. How much you want to bet he's was overclocking too? <laughs> All right, got the side cover off. This is not a stock uh, heat sink. I mean, back plate for for this. So I'm going to have to probably hunt for one or order one, and then I'm going to use a. I think I may have a stock cooler around here I can use 
just to test the computer to be sure everything's still in working order, okay? I love how they had the cutout here, but guess what? It's not big enough to freaking even get a back plate on, man. I'm gonna to have to completely remove this board to get a proper back plate on there. So this is gonna cost some labor for these people. So it is what it is, man, but Okay, so here is what I've done. We have used the Corsair Hyper T4 Cooler single fan configuration. And okay, it's not as small or maybe clean looking as a water cool, but it's certainly much safer doesn't look too bad at all in this case. Gave him my extra 120 millimeter fan there to kind of keep it cool. So, and it's also providing very good temperatures. Okay, if the water cooler is going to be much lower than that, it's not going to be but by even a degree or two, if that. And uh, under load, same thing, especially with that little small thin rad that they had in here. So look, water coolers, closed loop water coolers, are they worth it? They look better, and they're getting more and more blingy with the RGB stuff. But think twice before you invest in one. You got to remember, that's going to be sitting in your computer for however many years and however much usage you have out of your computer, do you trust it? I don't trust them. So anyway, this was a really good cheap solution, you know, 40 bucks and it's not going to leak water and it's just going to keep working and you don't have to worry about it at all. I'll have a link in the description for this cooler. You know, if you really wanted to, you could put an RGB fan on this. You could swap that out for an RGB fan. Um, just figured I'd make a little quick video of, on these uh, closed loop water, water coolers and give you examples of why I don't particularly care for them. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.